Please note that we have two different types of e-bikes. The one here is the Thunder T1, and the other option is the Nebula N1. The only difference between these two bikes is that the Thunder T1 has an external battery. Besides that, all the controls and operation features are the same. To turn on the bike, simply press and hold the power button for three seconds. Here you will see the LCD screen lights up. Once doing so, you will be able to see the level of battery power, the trip, the level of electronic assist from pedaling, and the mileage on the bike. Within the menu, you'll find that there are many different setting options. First, you want to press the plus and minus button down at the same time. The first menu you're going to come across is going to be for trip distance clearing. The default setting will be no, but if you press the plus or minus button, you will see a Y display and that means yes. Once you press the power button, the menu setting will be saved and then you will be put into the backlight settings. Here, the default setting is one, but using the plus or minus, you can adjust from one to three. Once you press the power button again, you will now be into the speed unit menu. This will allow for you to go from miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Please note that the default for this is miles per hour. Once you're done adjusting all your settings, Press the power button and this will make sure anything you have changed is now saved. Then press and hold the power button and this will exit the menu. To turn on the front and rear lights, simply hold down the plus button. You will see an icon comes on and the LCD screen lights up. Here, you now know your front and tail lights are on. Also note that when braking, an additional light in the back will come on as well. To turn off, hold down the plus button again, and now your lights have been turned off. All right, for adjusting the handle, you will go back and get the Allen wrench. You will come here, insert, Unscrew until you see that both sides pop out. Once doing so, you can freely move this up and down to your desired preference. As we recommend, it should be parallel with the ground. Once here, you simply just tighten it right back until both sides pop in, and then you'll see it's nice and firm. For adjusting the saddle of the bike, you will simply release the lever and slide up or down to your desired level. Please note that also here, you can change the position of the saddle forward and back by using the Allen wrench. You simply go up underneath and then you can move it forwards or backwards depending on where you want the saddle to be. Once adjusted, Simply just tighten back. If you are new to bike riding and don't know which level to adjust your saddle to, please consult our online guide and it will tell you everything you need to know. On the front fork, you'll notice that there's two knobs. These knobs allow you to adjust the level of shock absorption. Right now, the setting is very loose, so you will see the bike has a lot of movement here in the shock absorbers. Once you tighten it down, you'll see now it's a lot more stiff and a lot less movement. Furthermore, right now it's currently in the unlocked position, which allows for the movement in the shock absorbers. But if you switch to the locked position, there is almost zero play with the shock absorber. We would request that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and by clicking the bell icon, that will allow you to receive updates on all of our product information and anything else that our company would like to share with you. Once again, thank you.